In this video, we are going to prove the reciprocal and quotient identities using a right triangle. We begin with what we already know. Recall a right triangle. Let the given angle be theta. Let the side opposite of the given angle be O. Let A be the side adjacent of the given angle and let H be the hypotenuse. Now we know from right triangle trigonometry that sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Tan of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Cosecant of theta is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. Secant of theta is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent and cotangent of theta is equal to adjacent over opposite. We will first prove the reciprocal identities. Let's look at sine and cosecant. Note that sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse and cosecant of theta is hypotenuse over opposite. Clearly, sine and cosecant are reciprocals of each other, but let's verify this step by step. So we begin with 1 over sine of theta, which is equal to, well, what's sine of theta? Sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm going to say this is equal to 1 over opposite over hypotenuse. But that's just equal to 1 times hypotenuse over opposite, because when you're dividing by a fraction, you just multiply it by the reciprocal. So we say that this is equal to hypotenuse over opposite, which is equal to, well, what is hypotenuse over opposite? It's just equal to cosecant. So we say that this is equal to cosecant of theta. Thus, cosecant of theta is equal to 1 over sine of theta. Now let's prove it the other way. So we begin with 1 over CSC of theta, which is equal to 1 over well, CSC of theta is hypotenuse over opposite, so hypotenuse over opposite, which is equal to 1 times opposite over hypotenuse, which is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is equal to sine of theta, because sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So we see that sine of theta is equal to 1 over cosecant of theta. Now let us observe cosine and secant. Cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and secant of theta is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. Clearly, cosine and secant are reciprocals of each other but we will go through this one step by step as well. So we say that one over cosine of theta is equal to one over cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we say adjacent over hypotenuse, which is equal to one times hypotenuse over adjacent which is equal to 
hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse over adjacent is secant of theta, so we say that this is equal to secant of theta. Thus, secant of theta is equal to 1 over cosine of theta. And now we will go the other way. So we know that 1 over SEC of theta is equal to 1 over hypotenuse over adjacent, which is equal to 1 times adjacent over hypotenuse, which is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, which is equal to cosine of theta. Thus, cosine of theta is equal to 1 over secant of theta. For the last reciprocal, we will look at tangent of theta and cotangent of theta. We see that tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent, and cotangent of theta is adjacent over opposite. So, we begin with 1 over tan of theta is equal to 1 over opposite over adjacent, which is equal to 1 times adjacent over opposite, which is equal to adjacent over opposite, which is equal to cotangent of theta. So, cotangent of theta is equal to 1 over tan of theta. And similarly, we say that 1 over cotangent theta is equal to 1 over adjacent over opposite, which is equal to 1 times opposite over adjacent, which is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is equal to tangent of theta. Thus, tangent of theta is equal to 1 over cotangent of theta. Now we prove the quotient identities. We will begin with sine and cosine. So, sine of theta over cosine of theta is equal to, well, sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, so opposite over hypotenuse divided by cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, so adjacent over hypotenuse, which is equal to opposite over hypotenuse times hypotenuse over adjacent. So we are multiplying by the reciprocal, which is equal to our H's will cancel, so we're left with opposite over adjacent. But what is opposite over adjacent? Opposite over adjacent is tangent of theta. So this is equal to tangent of theta. Thus, tangent theta is equal to sine of theta over cosine of theta. And now we will do the exact same thing to find the quotient identity for cotangent. We will begin with cosine of theta over sine of theta. So we say cosine of theta divided by sine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse divided by opposite over hypotenuse, which is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse times hypotenuse over opposite. Again, our H's will cancel, so we have adjacent over opposite, which is equal to 
Adjacent over opposite is equal to cotangent of theta. So this is equal to cotangent of theta. Thus, cotangent of theta is equal to cosine of theta over sine of theta. And that is how you prove the reciprocal and quotient identities. Thank you for watching and always remember that you are awesome.